Hello, today is our first problem solving session on problems that came in physics section for IIT J 2011 paper 2. I will be discussing 10 problems in this particular session. Here comes the first question. This question was very very easy. Let's see which of the field patterns given below is valid for electric field as well as for the magnetic field. Now if you look at option A you can see that the field pattern is radially outwards and this is possible only in case of electric field where a particular charge that charge has to be positive right only in case of positive charge you have electric field lines going radially outwards because magnetic field lines they always form closed loops so magnetic field lines cannot give this kind of pattern similarly if you look at option B the field lines they are coming radially inward so it has to be a negative charge if you look at option D there is some problem with the diagram because the magnetic field lines which are coming out from this place they are also coming out from this place so you cannot find a situation in case of electric field and magnetic field where they form this kind of loop ok so there is some contradiction in this diagram now closely look at option C it shows field lines which are forming loops so magnetic field lines they always form loops however in case of electric field if you have a non-conservative electric field that means when the flux associated with the region is changing magnetic flux is changing with respect to time then it initiates a special kind of induced electric field which forms loops right so these loops if they are electric field lines they must be due to they are the induced electric field lines and they must be due to the changing magnetic flux through this area ok so the correct option is C now let us look at the second problem this again was a very very simple problem a ball of mass 0 0.2 kg rests on a vertical post of height 5 meter a bullet of mass 0 0.01 kg traveling with a velocity v meter per second in a horizontal direc direction hits the center of the ball after the collision the ball and the bullet travel independently the ball hits the ground at a distance of 20 meters and the bullet at a distance of 100 meter from the foot of the post the velocity v of the bullet is in this problem we have to determine the velocity v of the bullet now try to understand the situation this bullet right is hitting this ball at its center and the travel the direction of travel of the bullet is horizontal right so they will exchange their momentums upon collision okay and it is very logical that the bullet and the ball after collision immediately after collision will be traveling in the horizontal direction only okay I said that immediately after collision the direction of bullet and the direction of ball will be horizontal only okay after some time since both bullet and ball they are under the action of gravity so they will take a projectile path they, they are basically taking a trajectory which is uh, parabolic in nature 
now it is given that the bullet hits at a distance of 100 meters away from the post and the ball hits the ground at 20 meters now if you clearly if you see if you can imagine that the motion of bullet and ball can be studied independently this is the first aspect now if you consider the bullet the motion of bullet can again be studied in two mutually perpendicular directions let us say this is x direction and this is y direction okay so the bullet has a displacement sy which is equal to 5 meters in the vertical direction okay and we can study the motion of these two things independently in this problem the vertical component of the velocity initially that is if you wish to find out let us say we are considering the case of bullet first okay so the initial velocity component of the bullet is zero because it is traveling in the horizontal direction and it has a displacement sy is equal to 5 meters okay because though it is traveling a parabolic path its displacement in the vertical direction is only 5 meters and it is under the action of gravity so its acceleration in the vertical direction will be equal to g from this now this condition applies to both bullet as well as ball okay ball also has the same fate in the vertical direction so you can find out the time of flight that is the time for which it was under the motion that you can easily find out using the second equation of motion s is equal to ut plus half at square and initial velocity is zero so the time of flight will be under root of two s upon a which is equal to two times s is five meters and g is ten let us say g equal to ten so you have one second as the time of flight now this same time of flight applies both for bullet as well as ball now if you study the motion of bullet in x direction okay so in x direction there is no acceleration clearly clear and the displacement in the case of bullet is 100 meters and it travels for one second so its velocity in the x direction is 100 meter per second that means it is a uniform motion in the x direction similarly you can find out velocity of the ball in the x direction which will be 20 meter per second now the same velocity of bullet and ball will be there immediately after collision also okay look at this diagram when they hit when they collide the bullet and the ball they are colliding then the bullet starts to move in the horizontal direction with the speed of 100 meter per second and the ball is traveling with 10 meter per second now you can apply the knowledge of that in any kind of collision linear momentum remains conserved so if you look at the initial velocity of ball it is ball is stationary so v ball initially is 0 and after the collision it is 20 meter per second and the mass of ball is given as into 10 to the power minus 1 kg initial speed of bullet that we have to find out is v 
velocity of bullet after the collision is 100 meter per second and the mass of bullet is given as 0.01 kg or 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 kg now applying the law of conservation of linear momentum P1 plus P2 will be equal to P1 dash plus P2 dash that is 0 0.2 into 0 plus 0 0.01 into V is equal to 0 0.2 kg into 20 plus 0 0.01 kg times 100 if you solve this you will get V as equal to 500 meter per second so this was a very simple problem now let us move on to the next problem